Look at that can opener. Man. Yep. This is serious business. Looking in the aquarium. Whoa! Well, there's, some, there's some big mammoths in there. It's a good drip. That'll get a fish. Eat it. Fish on! It's a big one, too. There's another one. Got him good, too. Oh, good jumper! Normal day. I tell you what, man, it feels like snow, not rain. In eastern Canada, Quebec and New Brunswick provinces make up the Gaspé Peninsula with 33 Atlantic salmon rivers. Two of the most legendary rivers are found here. The first is the Restigouche, flowing for 152 miles into Charlour Bay. In First Nation Mi'kmaq, Restigouche means river that divides like a hand, due to her tributaries like the Matapedia, which means where the water meets. The second river is the Cascapedia, she flows for 86 miles from her headwaters, found near the ancient Chicxac volcanoes, sheared off long ago by glaciers. Landscapes Herald, quaint farms, forests, and a variety of wildlife. This region was settled thousands of years ago by the First Nation Mi'kmaqs, who depended on the salmon. By the mid-1800s, Europeans flocked here for its beauty and salmon fishing. The Mi'kmaqs were forced onto a single reservation called Geskapegiak, from which the name Cascapedia evolved. Being on these rivers is like stepping back through time. To survive in the ocean and get up rivers to spawn, nature has selected Atlantic salmon with amazing strength and shape, with large power-generating tails. In Latin, they are called salmo salar, meaning salmon leaper, sometimes even leaping up waterfalls and over rocks in order to spawn. They often spawn in the very pools they were born in, these are a determined fish. Fly fishing to catch the leaper is a leap of faith, as one can spend hours casting to a fish that may never or finally take a fly. Second only to Norway's Alta River, Cascapedia and Rastigouche Atlantic salmon are the largest in the world. Fly fishing for these astounding fish is our quest, as well as to learn about the Restigouche and the Cascapedia rivers, and how conservation groups and the Mi'kmaqs are helping to protect and restore them to the fabled heights of the Great Gaspé.